So here it is in action. I got my main saw, my John's Red there. That's my go-to saw. And that green one, that's the one I'm using for a loaner now. I ended up switching back over to parts that came off that. and uh, Tested out yesterday. That thing cuts beautifully. So I'll just keep that as a loaner. Now I'm up in the attic and you can see um, I have some hedge trimmers hanging on there. And then I have another one. I got a couple saws there, and then there's a third one, some saws there. So everything's hanging all on one stud, right like that. Here's how you take a saw off. Just pop it up right over like that, and put it back on. It's just as easy. So it works out real well. Another thing that I just noticed about this is it does a good job of concealing the sharp part of the saws. If we look down here, you can see I put the guards on the, the bottom two saws and all the other saws, the bars are kind of tucked in behind and you know that's just good if you have small kids. Now, I don't have kids up in my attic but I'll probably move those two saw guards down to my saws downstairs. I know people are going to ask, so I'll give you the dimensions. The bottom piece is a foot long from here to here. It is six inches thick. Well, it's an inch thick, but the width from here to the end where my thumb is, from there up to the top there is six inches. And then I just cut like three inches radiuses so I could put screws in. And this thing is designed so that when you mount it on the wall with your three and a half inch drywall screws, it goes right into one stud. So when you actually hang it up, if you have a stud, you want to put it right on the stud, center it on there, and that'll give you all the strength you need. Whether you have drywall or not, it'll mount right on a stud. And then this thing is six inches from there to there. This is three quarter inch plywood. I use that just because it's more stable. And it's 14 inches long. This distance is five inches. It's the same on the other side. And in here is three and a half. And the bottom of the radius is an inch and a quarter. And uh, all those measurements work out really well. You don't have to make this so high up. You can make it shorter if you want. Um, your chainsaw won't fall off. And th this is glued and screwed with three inch drywall screws. So I'm double wide six and uh, I have a bunch of small engine videos and repair videos and tool storage videos. So check out my channel. You can find whatever you're looking for. Please comment. Thanks.